Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Panda. In today's video, we will see how we can create the auto number field in LMS 365 by directly using the model driven app designer. And basically, we are going to explore the different formats that are given by Microsoft by creating the auto number field. So let me switch to my trial instance. And I have before that I have opened this MS Doc link where we have given all the auto number formats that are currently available and that can be used to create an auto number field. So if you see there are many options. Uh, previously we used to create the auto number field using the XRM toolbox or a web API call but now with the help of model driven app designer we can directly create the auto number field using many format options. So there is one more section using web API call. So I sometimes create this field using the web API call so that uh, we will learn in the back end how these things work and how we can set the field values to create an auto number field. So this is the first option. But in today's video, we will see and explore how we can use this format options to create an auto number field. So I have created one trial instance and uh, I have created one solution. So currently my solution preview is on. So let me use that new feature which will show the new navigation here. And I have selected my table. So I have created one brand table. And in this table we are going to create a new field. So by adding a new column, I will give a name or I'll give name of field as request ID. And with the data type here, the direct option is auto number. So I'll select that option. All the other things you can change. But basically, this is the main thing which we are going to explore. So there are three options. String prefix, prefix number, date prefix number and the custom one. So in the string prefix number, you can simply give uh, like something here. And with minimum digits, if I want five, so and I want the seed value to start like this. So this is the preview how it will look. So with the help of seed value, you can set the starting value. So example, if I'm giving one, so it will add zeros. So it will start with the one. So with the help of seed value, you can set your starting value. And with the preview feature, we can see how our format auto number field will look like. So this is a simple string prefix number. Similarly with date prefix number also we can select different kind of date format. So it will take a today's date. So whenever a new record is created, this field will get generated and uh, uh, this field value will get generated and it will use this format. So example, I'm giving five. So see, uh, it will look like this. Now the third option is custom. So let me remove this okay now here we can directly put the format so example let me choose this one so it will look like this so example i can directly copy this and i can tell here that this is my format so example it is saying append it with cnr i can change it to ipg then hyphen and it is saying to generate a random string of digit 4 so here if you see it has generated a random string digit if i want it uh, a number of four digit then i have different option available that is sequence number so it will generate a of number type we'll see that but as of now it will generate a random string of four digit so this is how it will look and a sequence number of four digit and i have given seed value to start with one so this is how i can set it if I want to increase it, I can add these options. So it add date time to format. So it will uh, append the date time it, sequential number format. It will add it here, add a random string. So it will add here. So that's how I can choose this. So there are similarly, there are multiple options that I can explore, which will look like this. So as per our project requirement, we can modify this and use this and uh, if I go by this, so if you see the difference between is the sequence number is first and the random string. So if I go here, I can even give this. So if you see sequence number is three and this is a number. So this is three and this is a random string of six digit. So that is how we can create this. So let's try creating a new field. I can give the description. This is a request ID. 
I'll click on done. So let me save the table. So we have done the changes. We have created a new field that is request ID. And let me save the table. So if you see this new field has been created as a order number field. So just to check this, let me add it onto the form. So let's explore how we can add it quickly from the model app uh, driven designer. So I have selected the form column. So let me open the main form. So this is our form. If you see, I can zoom it and I'll go to the form field. So this is a new field. Let me drag it after name. So it is done. Now let me save it. So I'm loving this new model app driven uh, designer because it is very easy to use and I can even see everything how the form will look like. So I have added a new feed onto the form and I have saved it and it is getting published. So let's wait. Now it is published. So let, let me refresh my page. So, so this is the brand identity I have already added to the sitemap. So let me create a new record. So if you see, this is a request ID. So let me give the name as Microsoft and I can lock it. But as of now, we just need to test. So if you see, so let's go and check what is the format that we have uh, selected. So let me go back. Oops. So this is our format. So as per this format, it will have car and then three digit sequence number and six digit string uh, random number. So this is how we can create a auto number field with different format options available and which can be easily done using a model driven app. So uh, this is how uh, we can create an auto number field. If you have any questions and if you want me to create a video which will show how we can create auto number field using the web API call, please let me know by comments and thanks for watching my video. Thank you.